All right, we're here today with Adam Seisler, and you're from the SkyDrive team. Tell us a little bit about what you do with SkyDrive. Well, I'm the development manager for SkyDrive, and so we are responsible for building the SkyDrive applications and things like uh, on your Windows phone. Uh, we built SkyDrive app on Windows 8. Mm -hmm. uh, in addition, we build the SkyDrive sync client that runs on Windows 7, Windows 8, Vista, and most recently on Windows 8.1, we built it directly in the OS. And there's some new features with yes, 8.1. Yes. So tell us a little bit about this. Well, uh, can you see my screen here? I see it. All right. Uh, first of all, I really want to focus on the, one of the coolest features we built in Windows 8.1, which is called Smart Files. And the concept here is we noticed there were kind of two trends happening um, in, in you know, the world. On one hand, people's data sets were growing. Yeah. Uh, they're taking a lot of you know, pictures, obviously, with your cell phone and, and videos and things like that. At the same time, devices are getting smaller. So yeah. we had this kind of you know, little problem where we're, how do we get a big data set onto a small device? Yeah, and, and so, some, of my, some of my devices, I just don't need everything for my SkyDrive on it. So. Absolutely, yeah, yeah. In the past, we kind of solved this by building apps that were more, more like a web page. They were yeah. browse-style apps. So for example, the, the modern app in uh, Windows 8 is, is built in that way. It uses JSON. Um, to make web calls, and then essentially you browse, uh, you know, via HTML your, your your namespace. And if you want to interact with a file, you can download that one file. There's no cache. There's no offline access. You know, it's limited, but it has some advantages that it doesn't use up a lot of space on your device. Yeah. Um, the sync client is a little bit different. You know, that works by literally syncing down all of your data to your local device. And we actually had a feature called Selective Sync that let you sort of carve out pieces of your of your tree and say, I don't want those on the device. Yeah, so and that, so you just wouldn't see those on your exactly, device. Exactly, not at all. And so the disadvantage of that is, of course, you know, let's say you, for whatever reason, did want to interact mm -hmm. with that file, you couldn't. Yeah. Um, but the advantage is when you sync, of course, all that content is available locally. For performance, you have the local disk rather than the network. Um, and you can uh, access it offline, you know, if you're on the airplane or just in any, in any yeah. way. Um, so we wanted to kind of marry the two. And so we came up with this concept of uh, smart files. And the idea is instead of syncing down the entire file, we just sync down the metadata of the file and as well the hierarchy, so mm -hmm. where it exists in the tree. Um, so if you can see right here, I've got, this is actually my, my real SkyDrive. Um, I've got my whole SkyDrive here. It's quite big. You can see the full hierarchy. They look just like regular files. If I do properties here, you can see that I have about 81 uh, gigabytes of, of data, but the size on disk, if you look there, you can't see me pointing, but yeah. there we go. There, <laughs> there's the size, and there's the size on disk is only two gigabytes. Yeah. So that's how you does know, that happen? It's magic. <laughs> it's magic. magic. The magic it's of smart. software. Uh, so uh, I'll go into that. I mean, as an example, so as I say, we only sync down the, the very small bits of yeah. metadata. We actually do sync down. Uh, the thumbnail as well. So it's a 480 by 480 pixel thumbnail. By default, we stick it on. So the I can tell what my pictures are without absolutely. needing to know so the absolutely. camera name, of course. So, so if I go to this Palm Springs, for example, those are all smart files. They're and they're not small. actually on your machine. Exactly. They're not taking up space. Exactly. And um, you can do properties on this one, um, but you can see the, the thumbs. So, so what see. happens if you double click on one of those? Um, good question. Well, let's actually do. Do uh, a document first, just I think it's a little bit. I've got a separate part of the demo. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> the thumbnails. So you can see I double clicked on that file, and ta da, it downloaded it automatically. User didn't have to do anything. It's really implicit. Yeah. Um, it's a small file, so it was quite, you know, quite fast. Now, if you look over here, you can see it says available offline, and that's because the file was, uh, we call it being hydrated. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, and so then it's, 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 it's available. Now, I'll kind of switch gears and show you the, 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 uh, some of the photos experiences. So I'll go to the modern um, SkyDrive application. And keep in mind, you can interact with SkyDrive content via modern or via Explorer like I did, yeah. because they really are files in the file system. Yeah. Um, so if I click on uh, modern SkyDrive, you can see there's a sort of a touch first uh, uh, UI that, that exposes all this content. I can click on Palm Springs. Here's my. Um, uh, list of, of, of pictures. Uh, what's really kind of neat is if I go into the one-up view, 
this is actually a 1600 by 1600 uh, thumbnail. Yeah. And again, we, we, we bake this right into the, the shell. In, 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 so in again, Windows. this isn't the actual file? This that's, is another that's thumbnail? Correct. There's another thumbnail. So uh, Windows already has the capability for having tiered thumbnails, you know, yeah. different sizes. And there's a whole thumbnail cache that's built into the shell. And <clears throat> the cache, you know, maintains, depending on a bunch of heuristics, size of disk, uh, et cetera. And it'll, you know, put things out of the cache. But the neat thing is we, baked in calls to the service, the SkyDrive service, into this whole pipeline. So it's the same same thumbnail pipeline that's existed for, for many years, but instead of cracking open the file, if, there, if the thumb at a particular size doesn't exist, you know, shrinking it down and sticking that in the database, it actually will go to the sync engine, and the sync engine makes a call to the service, and the service will pull down the thumb at the proper size. Interesting. And what's, uh, yeah, and a really cool thing about this is if you're you can imagine a low power device. Mm -hmm. It's actually a lot of work for a low power device to crack a big four, you know, four megapixel yeah. uh, photo, shrink it down, save it to uh, <coughs> the disk. And here we let the server do the heavy lifting there and we just pull down exactly what we need. Very nice. So in this case, it's 16 by 1600 100 pixels and that in, no matter how big the photo, the original photo is, it could be quite, quite a bit larger. Yeah. But we only, uh, essentially it's the display, the display size. Now, um, that, and that happens on demand. Another thing is if, if I wanted to edit this, this file. Now what will happen here is when I click edit, um, you'll see loading, and it actually is pulling the full res photo down as we okay. speak. And you know, it takes a little longer, now it's done. So it fully hydrated the file in the background. I can do fancy things here like, you know, different effects. And by the way, another thing we did is all of these features are available in the Photos application as well. Mm -hmm. So the Photos application and the SkyDrive Modern application are both built on the same source code. Um, so we wanted to make sure that there were sort of no dead ends, that when people interact with this content, they can, you know, if you have a photo, you can have the full editing features um, uh, both in the SkyDrive application or in the Photos application, you know, whether you're yeah. doing local or SkyDrive content. Um, so as I say, this is, I'm not going to save that, but I'll do cancel and now, just to sh uh, illustrate, can you see this little yeah, icon yeah. here? So that shows, that's you know, meant to indicate that, <laughs> that, that, that this file is available offline. And yeah. so, as you can see, it was fully hydrated. Excellent. So what if I'm getting ready to go on a plane and I know I'm going to need a directory full of you know, hundreds of documents that I'll need on the plane and I won't have access to the internet? Absolutely. All, all you have to do is you can right mouse click on, say, the whole documents. Uh, uh, folder and you can say make available offline and it will start syncing that entire uh, uh, directory offline and another note is once you've done that mm -hmm. it is going to behave like normal sync so those files yeah. will stay up to date completely it's not like you're taking a snapshot you're just saying hey I want these files always available yeah. to me offline and from then on until you undo that action and m mark them as online only they will stay stay fully in sync. So I edit a bunch on the plane, I get off, it does another sync, updates everything exactly, in the cloud. Exactly. And then let's say I don't want them on my machine again. All you gotta do is like you know, for this example, we pulled soccer schedule down uh, as available offline. I click available online only and ta da. Nice. There it is. So it essentially yeah. for the most part it deletes it, but it doesn't look deleted because it's still there. Exactly. exactly. Very nice. Very cool. And so this is part of 8.1? Everyone this, upgrades to 8.1 is going to find this? Everyone who upgrades to 8.1 and, of course, associates with yeah. their Microsoft account, uh, they will automatically see in, in Explorer and uh, in, in the modern SkyDrive app, they'll see this um, you know, Excellent. That, 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 that folder there, and that is your full SkyDrive, and it will sync down. Great work, Adam. Thanks for showing us this today. Thank you.